Get over here! How's it going, everybody? The Green Scorpion here, along with... Ignis Animations. And welcome to the final chapter of Let's Play The Wolf Among Us. So, we're finally here. Yep. And we are finally going to encounter the Crooked Man. Mm-hmm. So, um, so far, how, how are you feeling about this game? I'm feeling pretty good about it. I mean, it's been a few weeks since we last played it, but I'm ready to finish it. Yeah, I mean, you have been watching the episodes as they come out, I assume, so you're still- We're, we're still essentially- we still essentially know what's going on, plus the game's gonna recap us anyway. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, um, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, play? Yeah, so this is going to be Chapter 5, Cry Wolf. I love this title screen. Mm -hmm. I, I adore this title screen, and this actually gives you a pretty good precedent as to what's to come. So, to remind all of you, as usual, Ignis has the mouse. She's going to be making most of the decisions. I got the keyboard. I'm basically just the reaction guy. So, go ahead and get, the, get us started. Uh, yeah, there you go. I mean, your eyes and the teeth, you're not really supposed to do that, are you? <sighs> not if I can avoid it. Yeah, she's still dead. Yeah. As the game so kindly reminds us. Mm -hmm. Have you figured oh, it out sister. yet, by the way? Lily. What? Um, exactly what I is going on, like, with those beheadings. Doing, uh, he, yes, I think we covered that on the last it. one. As a matter of we kind of did. Where is that coming from, though? That's is the question. Tell me anything. Yep. It's the ribbon, isn't it? We're destroying the tree. No! We're not burning the tree, Snow. Hey. You're not really gonna send me to the farm, are you? I don't know. Snow will come around. She's just... You know, the crane thing hit her hard, and she doesn't really know who her friends are right now. That's putting it mildly. Mm-hmm. That woman. We also gotta deal with oh her God, still. Big B. This time was no joke. Eat as many metal shellings as you see fit, but take just one more silver round near your heart, and the only place I'll be visiting you is the morgue. Bigby, wait. When you get the Crooked Man, make sure you bring him back alive. He has to stand trial. Why don't you have a seat, Sheriff? We have a great deal to discuss. Yep. It, it doesn't even, like, let us... It doesn't even give us, like, some pre, uh pre-titled gameplay. We're going straight into it. Mm -hmm. So, um, this is where all the decisions kind of come to a head, and I'm going to let, as usual, I'm going to let you make most of the decisions, if not all of them, really. But, yeah, I'm very curious to see how things are going to, are going to play out, especially with the decisions you've made so far. One thing's for sure, and I'm very much looking forward to it, this is the episode where we actually kind of have a true bona fide boss fight. Okay. Against who? Well, you'll see. Here we go. You've come a long way. You must be tired. And if my envoys are correct, you haven't had a lot of rest recently. Hmm. Hi, Jersey. Please, Sheriff. Relax for a moment, will you? Do you want a drink? Something to eat? Vivian makes a very nice, very... It's elegant. Really a carpaccio. It's lobster. Sirloin. Don't misunderstand the situation here. We... Oui? are not friends, and you're in no position to offer me anything. On the contrary, Sheriff. And I don't wish to contradict you here, but your initiative and mine have been friendly for a long while now. Ever since I came aboard these shores, 
you know. Fable Town's been very accommodating of my humble ventures. Yeah? Well, you can forget all that. It's over with. Hmm. What do you think you're doing? He's gonna. Mr. Wolf is our guest, and I have every intention of cooperating. So don't waste the silver. Sit down, Jersey. <laughs> well, Sheriff, for the sake of transparency, why don't you tell us why you're here? It would help settle everyone's nerves, I think. You know why I'm here. You killed those women. What women? Faith and Lily, the girls who worked at the Pudding and Pie. Did I know? I assume by your confidence in accusing me, you must have some proof of this, yes? Some allotment of evidence. A witness, perhaps. Your servant over there told me you didn't. <laughs> That's a fucking lie! I didn't say anything it's like that! fine. All I said was that this was your town, and nothing wouldn't happen without your approval, all right? That's it. Uh-huh. If only that were true. Ooh. Those women. I don't relish telling you that the killings were perpetrated by an employee of mine. It's a very unfortunate bit of business, but I promise you, but the matter will be dealt with internally. I just want to settle the issue for you, and to assure you that it's over with. An unfortunate bit of business? You're gonna tell me right now who killed him? Sheriff, I have complete respect for you and your job. I hope you know that. But I simply can't divulge that information. Any idea who it might be? You really shouldn't worry yourself. I have an idea, I said, just based on how the girl's reacting behind, no, behind him. No, I'm gonna deal with it right now. Yeah, right. What do you think this is? Some kind of negotiation? The man said he'd take care of it. So why don't you take the hint and get out? I'm the law here, not you. Now tell me who did it. You think I'm scared of you? <laughs> You're nothing more That's than That's enough. I was hoping it wouldn't come Says to Says the guy who almost got killed by him. In the interest of preserving our alliance. If you have to know, it was Georgie. Hmm. However, like I said, I'd be handling the matter if you don't mind. Georgie. You got what you wanted, so just... Sit. Down. Now. Yeah, I killed him, so what? Why'd you do it? Why kill them? Does it matter? Look, the fact is, George here misinterpreted one of my instructions. Misinterpreted? And I want to make things right. So, let's work something out. What's there to work out? I'm protected, aren't I? Your protection has limits, and I think you've far exceeded yours. But you could murder someone in cold blood like that. You fucking asked oh. me to do this! And then you attempt told me to, to kill blame me for it. You will be silent while we discuss what to do with you. This is right, bollocks, sis. You're just gonna let him do this? So what do you say, Sheriff? Can we discuss terms? You can have Georgie. Consider it a gift. Ensuring our continued cooperation. What the hell? All right, let's talk. You can't just hand me over. What the fuck is this shit? You said you'd cover for us. For minor infractions. Not murder. Just go with him, Georgie. You're gonna sink us all. What's wrong with you people? You're really gonna sell him out just like you that? You think I'd give a fuck if I'm the one who the shit do you think you fuck us around? Get the fuck out of here. Oh, if there's anything Bigby knows how to do, it's to rise tensions. Leave now. There's no way I'm going with him. Are you kidding me? Things are about to get unpleasant, and I would rather you weren't here to watch. You can go join that whore at the bottom of the lake for all I give a shit, but he's not taking me anywhere. I'll roll over on the lot of you before I let that shit happen. What are you saying? I'm not going anywhere. This could have gone so well. To speak the truth, I've never been a very good mediator. Hmm. Why negotiate when you can just decide? That's creepy. <laughs> Did I miss anything good? 
Well, look at you all fixed up. All right, here we go. All right. Take this. Aha. Uh -huh. Done, Wolf. Come on. We're pretty much done here. I'd like to say it was nice knowing you, but I'll be glad to see your insides turned out. Nice. Well, that didn't go well at all. Nope. Come on, Doctor. Ooh, shit. I know. The moving door. <laughs> You're not going anywhere. Never mind. All right, we got to think fast here. Totally not breaking the laws of Fable Town. Right? No, it's totally breaking some laws. Yeah, Sheriff's gotta do what he's, what he's gotta do. What else do you think it is? Oh, yeah. Ah, nuts. To be honest, I never actually wondered what would happen if you didn't move out of the way. You know, you'd think they'd be smart enough to not come to the Puddin' and Pie. I need a minute. Okay. 
How did this happen, George? Oh, fuck. Well, it won't be your fault. It'll all land on me. Can you stand up? <clears throat> it's okay. Take your time. Slowly. <clears throat> oh, it's no fucking use. No way I'm walking out of here. Here. Uh, it's gonna be okay. We'll get you fixed. Yeah, sorry. You guys aren't walking Shit. out of here. Hello, Bigby. I hoped you'd come to your senses. <laughs> oh, crooked man's the one you want. But of course, you're too much of an idiot to see that. Or maybe you just like me too much to let me go. I'm taking you in, Georgie. Let's go. Oh, you're gonna carry me? Please, Sheriff. Haven't you done enough? Look at him. He's dying. You can't seriously want to protect this guy. You know what he did. I'm not going anywhere. It isn't his fault. He's a murderer. Faith and Lily, he's the reason they're dead. Look, I know he made a few mistakes. A few? We all have. What? He made sure they couldn't talk with those damn ribbons, and then he killed them. You're wearing one yourself. Doesn't that bother you even a little, knowing that man of murdered- Of course it does. Girl, so it's all my fucking fault then. I you didn't fucking. Mean it. Ah, you're gonna throw me to the fucking wolf too? You know I didn't have a goddamn choice. What the fuck? I did what I had to! You can't fucking blame me for that. Why'd you do it then, huh? If it's not your fault, then what the fuck happened? Ooh. Look, Faith and the others tried to pull a run on us. And as you can imagine, the crooked man wasn't too thrilled. But of course, the big boss didn't want to get his fucking hands dirty. So he told me to take care of it. You think I don't know what that means? Either I do what he says or I'm the one getting dealt with. So I fucking killed him. And I'd do it again. Because it's not my fault. The crooked man gave the order. He told me to kill them. And then he fucking sold me out. You're still the one who pulled the trigger. Nobody held your hand and made you go through with it. Ryan, believe what you want. I can tell you've made up your mind. Doesn't matter if it's fucking true or not. You're terrible at this, Georgie. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and arrest me then. But it won't bring back Lily or Faith. It won't free your friend Narissa. And I'm just the sap taking the fall for the whole thing. It must be so easy being you. Just come in here and blame me for all this shit. Job's done, right? Georgie's the bad guy. It's all his fucking fault. <sighs> <sighs> But what was I supposed to do? You don't know what it's like, Bigby. How could you know? You could have done anything else. You could have let them go. You could have freed Faith and Lily from those fucking ribbons instead of murdering them. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about. If I freed them... Hmm. Hmm. What would you have me do? Kill her? Georgie, don't. It was them or Vivian. So you tell me if freeing Lily meant she had to die. You still think I had a fucking choice? What are you doing? What are you talking about? This is the original. The girl with the ribbon. I'm sure you've heard the stories. Couldn't take it off. Couldn't talk about it. She used her little purple ribbon to make more of them. To keep our girls quiet. To ensure absolute discretion. You promised you wouldn't. All that magic is connected to this little thing. You remove hers, and the spell's broken. They're all free. But you know what happens to her? The same thing that happened to Faith. So don't you come in here and tell me I fucked up. What the hell, Georgie? We were supposed to look out for each other. I trusted you. You can't fucking blame me. You're not innocent here either. I know that. But did it have to be like this? You sold me out. Welcome to the club then. <laughs> you have to understand, nobody was supposed to die. When we built this place, it, it was just a stupid idea, a gimmick. Discretion is our guarantee. That's how it started, anyway. This was supposed to be our place. We were gonna be in charge for once, and nobody would try to control us or use us. That was the point. Then the crooked man showed up, and everything just turned to shit. Doesn't that sound familiar? So, do you get it now? Why I couldn't just... 
If you still think it's so fucking simple, then you do it. Go right ahead. Kill her then. What are you doing? Break the spell. Save the fucking day. I'm not playing this game, Georgie. I won't kill her. Don't talk about me like I'm not even here. Please. You think this is hard for you? My life is such a fucking burden on your conscience. Don't I get a say? It's my life. You're right. It's your life. I know what I've done. Wait. I'm sick of everyone thinking that they can just do what they want with my life. I thought it would be different here. But it's all the fucking same. Vivian, I didn't mean... Do you think I wanted to be this person? What I did to Faith and Lily? To all of them. Vivian, wait. I... Every day I have to look Gwen and Hans in the eye and pretend I don't care. I have to forget what I've done to them. What I took away from them. I look at Nerissa and I hate myself. Vivian. I can't pretend anymore. What are you doing? Vivian. Don't! Oh. Vivian! Georgie. No! Fuck! No, 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 no! Why'd you have to do that, Vivian? Vivian! Just... Jesus. Vivian! I didn't fucking mean it! I was just... Oh! Get up. Get up. Don't think so, Bigby. I'm gonna die here. I think we both know that. Just make sure you give the crooked man the same treatment when you find him. Really fuck him up for me, all right? He's gonna have it worse. Don't worry. <coughs> Good. Old foundry by the river, all right? Shepherd Metalworks. He'll be there. Fucking asshole. You wanna finish me off now? Or do you plan to kick me around a little first? Rip my limbs off one by one? That's what you wanna do, right? That's not who I am. Prove it then. No more games, all right? We both know how this ends. <laughs> Just make it quick. Ooh. I know what I did. Mm. Let's not draw this out. You didn't click in time. Oh, damn. What? You're just gonna leave me here? Send someone for your body. Both of you. Fuck you! Piece of shit! bad that I didn't get click it in time. You saw the meter too. I know. That's what happens when you hesitate. <laughs> <laughs>